God just said in your word that in the last Hello, beautiful people of God. Hope you are safe. Hope you are doing okay because you need to be safe. My name is Kels Peter Obayoji and today I will be taking you on a tutorial on how to draft a pencil short skirt. A pencil skirt with band. And the measurement required for this skirt, the hip, the waist and the length of the skirt. And the fabric that we are going to be using is one yard fabric. And is a little bit stretching velvet. So... Please, if you are new to this platform, please kindly subscribe, share, and press the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Stay blessed. God bless you as we do the cutting. Like I said before, I said we are going to do a pencil skirt that have bound. The pencil skirt length will be 25 by length. Then the waist we are working with will be 30 divided by 4 is 7.5. Then plus 1 inches allowance will be 8.5. Then the hip we are working with will be 36 divided by 4 will give you 9.5. Then 1 inches allowance add to it is 10.5. Then the band we are working with is 4, four inches band. So let's get started. And the material that we are going to use is a, stre a little stretchy fabric. It's a velvet, but it's a little stretchy fabric. Fabric. So we are not going to add much allowance to it. And the things that we need, which is the material that we need to work, work it with. We need the scissors. We need the chalk. Then we need our taping measurements. Then we need ruler. As for me, I don't normally use ruler, but if you are a beginner, you need straight ruler. You need a, a curve ruler to make sure that your work is straight. Then first and foremost, you fold. You fold. Remember, when folding, you fold through the back side. Make sure you fold it through the back side where you are cutting. Because when you fold it through the front side, whatever thing you are using to cut, the, the, the mark will show. So you make sure you fold through the back side. First and foremost, we have to take the length, the length of the skirt. The length of the skirt is 25. 25, this is 25. Then when you minus 4, when you minus 4 inches from 25, it will give you 22. It will give you 22. So the real length we are working with now is 22 because you know the skirt have a band. This is the 4 inches. Later, we are going to cut it at... Then, since this is the length make sure it's a straight walk And first and foremost, we start the waist measurement. The waist measurement is eight and a half. Is eight and a half. Let me take it through this way for you. 
eight and a half should be here. Then let me just make it nine nine inches. You mark this is the waist measurement. Then from waist to hip is height measurement. Eight that is where hips normally lies. Then you measure the hip measurement is is ten and a half. You measure ten and a half from this place. Ten and a half. Then let me make it eleven for same allowance. Then you manual one inches from here because it's a pencil skirt. You know that one is eleven. When you minus one inches, it will land ten inches. It will be ten inches. Then you mark. What you do is to join all the marks together. You can use your ruler. You can use your hand. Join all together. As you can see, this is how it, it looks like. Then you cut. This material is a little bit stretchy. Then you fold again. That one is for the back. You fold again. You fold. Make sure your folding is very straight. Because if it is not straight, what you are working with, it will not be okay. Then you fold. You use the front to cut the back. Since there is no zip, there is no need of we putting allowance, extra allowance. Assuming there is zip inside, I would have cut, I would have placed I would have uh, uh, allowed two inches to be to be surplus here. So this is it. Come here. Let me do it like this. Make sure you educate it for you to know the upper part and the lower part so you notch so that you will not be making mistake using a, a down part to, to front part so you can see i have notched it for me to when i want to join it i will know this is the 
upper part because the upper part and the lower part are almost the same the same length so now we are going to cut the band and this is the material that is remaining i'm going to cut the band like i said i said it's four inches okay we have six inches we have six inches because the fabric i use is not much <coughs> so it's for us to maintain it to a very straight line the waist we are working with is a eight and a half inches so eight and a half inches I'm going to cut two bands, one for the back, why one for the front. Eight and a half inches. So when you open it, it will become when open, it will become seventeen. Seventeen, that is the place of seventeen. I will use this now to cut the the other part, the back, the back, uh, the back part, uh, band. So this is a two band. Make sure the two fabric are equal so that there will not be excess fabric when you are doing it or when you are sewing it. This is the part I know. So this is how it look like. It's a stretching one so you can stretch it to be equal with it so I just want to use this pin to illustrate it for you you pin it That is you you sew, but I'm using pin to illustrate it. The way you do to this one, that is how you are going to still do to the to the front to this front part. You pin also.
take it to the machine you sew through this line then it will look like this the other one to take it to the machine you sew through that very line then after sewing it sew through this line then this line when you are sewing it after you sew the front you sew the back band to the waistline then you come you make the measurement that you took that it was in that that was 30. make sure you make sure it's an accurate measurement then one inches allowance you sew through this very place sew through it then you sew through this place to the done after that you have to hem it by half inches by folding it like this then you sew the the down parts together after you have finished sewing everything here sewing the both side then you hem it like this take it like this take it to the machine then you you sew it to the end then make it you sew it round then after that your skirt is ready I finished attaching it. Look at it, it's very beautiful. After putting the band to the skirt, I stop stitch it so that it will look good. Then the damp part I've finished hemming it. If you are new to this platform, please kindly subscribe, share, and press the notification button so that whenever I upload new video, you will be notified. God bless you as you do so. God bless you.